Various numbering systems use symbols to refer to a number of items. Our common decimal system uses ten numeric symbols: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Sometimes called the base ten system, we use this system to write numbers and perform mathematical operations. The position of a digit in the base ten system determines its magnitude. This is referred to as place value. Moving from right to left, we multiply each preceding digit position by ten. Therefore, starting from the right, the first digit position is one. The second digit position is ten times the first, or ten. The third digit position is ten times the second, or one hundred, and so on. The magnitude of the numbers six, nine, and four is determined by the position of the digits. With the six in the third position, we would multiply six by one hundred to derive its place value of six hundred. Then add to it nine times ten, or ninety, and to that four times one to get six hundred and ninety-four. The binary system also uses place value to determine the magnitude of a number, but uses only zero and one as numeric symbols. Thus, it is referred to as the base two system, with each position incremented by a multiple of two. Digital systems use the base two system for computational operations in many of its applications. Now let's consider place value in the base two system. Starting at the right, we have two to the zero power, then two to the first power, then two to the second power, and so on. Thus, each multiplier to the left is two times the preceding number. Thus, starting with position one, we have two to the zero power, or one. Position two is two to the first power, or two. Position three is two to the second power, or four, and so on. When you work with digital equipment, converting between the binary and decimal numbering systems is often required. Let's take the binary number one one zero one zero one. And convert it to a decimal number equivalent. We will add together all the decimal number place values converted from a binary string. Thus, moving from right to left, we encounter a one. Multiply it by its binary place value of one to give one. Considering the next position to the left, we have a zero. No decimal numbers are derived when zeros are encountered because zero times its multiplier is zero. The next binary number is one. One times four is four, so we include its place value of four. We do this conversion for each place value of the binary number. Thus, adding up all the decimal numbers gives fifty-three. Now let's apply a process for converting a decimal number to its binary equivalent. This method involves repeated divisions by two. Taking the base ten, number thirty-seven, and dividing by two, we get a quotient of eighteen with a remainder of one. This remainder occupies the first position. Next, you'll divide eighteen by two. To get the next digit, it will be nine with a remainder of zero, so zero will occupy the second position. Moving along, the third position will be determined by dividing nine by two. This will give you four with a remainder of one to occupy the third position. Applying this divide by two process to each new calculated quotient derives the remainders that become the zeros or ones used to create the binary string.
continuing until the quotient is zero and can no longer be divided by two, completes the conversion process and you have your binary number.